Yo, peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. It's your boy Sam, and today I'm just gonna be talking about monk mode, semen retention, and monk mode. What is monk mode? If you don't know, I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna talk about the benefits of what monk mode is. So, monk mode is essentially when you cut yourself off from the world, you live like a monk, you know what I'm saying? You're retaining your seed, and you're just dialed in and focused on your own self, on your own inner being, on your spirituality, on your purpose, on your goals. Being in grind mode, you know what I'm saying? Being in straight grind mode. So, you know, let's talk about it, man. Monk mode, you're not going to be using social media. We're just going to get straight to it. You're not going to be using social media. Social media is going to be toxic. Now, people in society out there are going to be using these things. And, you know, the media has got their agendas and they're pushing all these things out. And you're just there consuming it, consuming it, scrolling, 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 wasting time, letting your mind be programmed. You know, and you, you'd be surprised how much of an influence that has on your subconscious brain. And a lot of people don't realise it. This is why a lot of people they don't have that same human interaction anymore. They're not the same anymore because a lot of people are like robots, man. They're being programmed in this matrix and it's getting crazy, man. So, you know, I'm not saying you've got to do this forever, but, you know, for at least like six months plus. I know it's, it's done a lot for me, man. It's changed my whole perspective on life. It, it's changed the way I think. It's allowed me to draw closer to the most high. So, you know, cut off social media. We're going to cut off toxic and bad relationships. We're not going to try and just be in the mix, you know, going out clubbing, partying, drinking, um, linking up with people just for the sake of it. If there's not really a purpose, if there's not really a plan to it, you know, these people are not good for you. Like, really dialing in on ourselves. So, you know, monk mode, it's going to be like, it's, going to, it's, it's almost a season of isolation. It's a season of isolation, but we need to isolate in order to elevate. So, you know, let's talk about how this is going to benefit us. You know, living like a monk, kind of just living according to your own purpose and your own goals and not being distracted by the things of the world. You're going to have laser focus. You're going to have extreme focus. Your mind is not going to be clouded because you've not been programmed by all this nonsense. So you're going to have complete clarity of thought. You know, you don't look externally to get thoughts. They come from internal. So they're actually your own soul talking to you and it makes you like... One, face demons, you know, face yourself, face your true emotions. But at two, it also gives you that creative energy. It gives you that creative energy where you can think and you can grasp new concepts and you can create new ideas and you can have more focus on what the, what, what the, what's ahead in the day. You know what I mean? You can plan ahead. You can, you, like, your brain becomes more expansive, man. Your brain becomes more expansive. Facts, bro, like, absolute facts. Like, it's like... And in having that focus, you then gain control over your own energy and where you direct that energy, which allows you to transmute that energy in more positive ways. It allows you to get more, more out of your energy. Let me just open a window because you know, it's hot in here. So because you're going to have more control over your energy, you're going to have also more control over your own emotions. And this is what is required as a man. If, if you're a man, you can't be emotional. You can't be. It's almost like this journey teaches you to like kind of be blunt and also numb because it's like the pain that you have to face you, you start to become numb to it you start to become numb to it and of course you have to rely on god god first god first god has to be the number one thing on this journey because without him you will fall you will crumble but with him you strengthen yourself in the lord you face that pain and it makes you stronger man it gives you more perseverance your faith is just literally leveled up and it's what monk mode does, man, because you're not just like, you know, you can all be on semen retention, but then still trying to be out here, like, using that energy to, to just not really gain anything, using that energy just to kind of manipulate a situation, just to feed your dopamine, if you know what I'm trying to say. So, for example, I could just be on semen retention and then go clubbing, knowing that, oh, I, I can get a female attraction, you know, I can, I can, look at me, i got a glow, man, I can, I can, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's feeding the ego. Whereas monk mode, you can't really feed your ego. You, you're alone with yourself. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, you're on your own. You and you and God. And God sees all. So, you know, you have complete control over your emotions, man. You know, a man who's in control over his emotions, in control over his desires, you know, he's a dangerous man. You know what I'm trying to say? He's a dangerous man. A man who's not controlled by lust. You know, this is another thing monk mode teaches you. Like, it, it allows you to be more discipline like the discipline is unparalleled because you know you have to use this energy like you've got no outlets to waste it on so you have to use this energy for your purpose you have to use this energy for your goals you know you, you're not distracted by women you're not talking to women you're not texting women like 
they're, they're of no interest because unless they're bringing a positive influence to your life, unless they're helping you build this kingdom, unless they're helping you on your mission, then it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time and you need to get to that point where you sit and think, you know what? This energy is way too valuable. This energy is way too valuable just to be giving it to someone who's going to mess me about. Who's just going to give it to someone who's just not seeing the vision that I'm seeing and is not trying to create it with me, but wants to do their own thing. You know what I mean? A lot of these people out here, they want a cake and they want to eat it too. I'm not on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not on that. Not at all. So, you know, less distractions, control over your emotions, super discipline, super discipline. You know, this is the season now, especially now we're in the winter. This is the time now to like, really put our head down, focus, you know, get in that gym, destroy the gym, hood up, you know what I'm saying, get these gains, get these gains, baby, you know what I'm saying, the gym is my sanctuary, man, without the gym, like, we need the gym to transmute that energy, to really, like, to really, like, boost ourselves, not only physically, but mentally, because each time we persevere in the gym, each time we push to new levels, new heights, it unlocks a new pathway in our brain, man, it unlocks a new pathway. So, you know, you're boosting your physical strength. You're boosting your mental strength. Then you're also boosting your spiritual strength. And then you're not being programmed by anything. And you start to like, it's like almost like you start to get superpowers. You can start to really have that discernment. You can start to really like understand people's energy, your own energy. You see a lot of attributes and traits in yourself being leveled up. Like there's so many benefits, man. It doesn't stop. There's no end to the benefits. But then there's also the dips that you have to face. But every time you get through that dip, you get the new levels, man. New levels. It doesn't just stop. There's no, like, the flat line goes like this and then, bow, you're up again. You're up again because you haven't, you haven't give up. You haven't. So the Most High is going to bless you, man. The Most High is going to sit there and think, okay, because he felt a certain way on this day, because he let his emotions control him. Ah, oh, like, he, he's done for. Like, he's given to his sin. Whereas because you're going to be there and you're going to face that, no matter what comes at you, you're going to face it like a man. Like, he's going to look and think, you know what? Let me bless this one. Let me bless him. Let me show him something new. You know what I mean? Let me let me give him that breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's what has to be done, man. Like, this journey, this journey is going to give you, like, super consistency. Super consistency, man. So, like, because you've got no outlets to waste your time on, it's like, okay, I know this has got to be done now. So, let's say, for example, I know I've got to get up. I know I can't miss the gym. I know I can't miss it. Because what else am I doing? What else could I be doing to like, you know, there's no excuse to not get it in. There's no excuse not to want to use that energy. Because if you don't use that energy, idle time is the devil's playground. So you're just going to waste it. You're just going to try and talk to women to fornicate. You're just going to, you know, like go fap or some shit. Like it's, it's, it's so dead, man. It's so dead. So, you know, if you really stay on this grind, you, you will get that consistency, man. You know, the most important benefit of this is your spirituality. It's just going to go, like, go tenfold because you are now completely unplugged from the matrix. Okay, you are not you are not consumed by digital technology. You are not just rinsing it, playing video games all day. You are not just sitting there scrolling on your phone all day, relying on the internet to bring you joy, relying on the internet to bring you happiness. Like So in turn, your spirit becomes so much more abundant you can really feel the presence of the most high you can communicate with him you can understand him you can you can learn from him like your joy comes from the lord like literally your joy comes from god and people don't understand this because how can their joy come from god if they've never forsaken these things that is their idol that is their god your phone becomes your god your video game becomes your god because that's where you draw your happiness from i'm drawing my happiness from a supernatural being that can't be seen the creator of the universe you see what I'm saying? It's different. It's different. And in doing that, this is why God sets you apart, man. God sets you apart. And in, in, in like, it's like it can't be unnoticed by other human beings. When the ones who are in the matrix and they're programmed and then they see you and you come out of here and you've got like this, this different energy, like, you know, because what's done behind closed doors will always be re revealed in the light. So, you know, these people who are doing darkness and wickedness, there's no hiding it. You might not know like physically like, oh, what they've been doing, but... It's 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 a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual world. So it's it's known without knowing. Like so, when you come around and you've got nothing but an abundant spirit, you've got the light in you. Like it's felt, man. It sends shockwaves through the air. Like for real, man. If you've really been holding it down in this journey and this grind, you send shockwaves. 
through the air wherever you go because you've been living like a monk but in other words you've been living righteously you've been living for the most high you've not been living just for to feed your ego you've not just been living just to crave pleasure you've not just been living just to please everybody else and be a yes man you know what i mean you're a true masculine male and there's not many out there there's not many out there who will really go through the grind and not just be like oh like relying on everybody else to bring up their emotions that's what women do women need a man to to you know help them control their emotions and and, and bring them back up a man's not supposed to have that we're not supposed to have an outlet that's why a man is supposed to be closer to god that's why a man is, is first and is meant, is meant to rely on the most high because we need him without him you will just rely on things of the world you will rely on drugs you will rely on sex you will rely on on weed you will you will rely on alcohol you'll rely on all these things and if you can't see that then you are in the matrix you are programmed you know what i'm saying but if you're out of that then you know what i'm talking about and you know it feels good to be unplugged man it feels good to be unplugged man my source my energy comes from above like it's amazing man get on monk mode man experience this journey for yourself you know what I mean? Really hold it down, get in that grind mode and just think like, you know what? I'm strong enough to face this, man. I'll go for whatever is necessary. And then in doing that, bro, eventually you're going to get to your purpose. You're going to, when you're obedient to the most high, you will get to the end goal. You know what I'm saying? He will bless you abundantly. He will bless you abundantly. I've experienced it so many times, man, before I fell short in the past where I got to a level of energy where it felt like, I felt like I knew what it meant to truly be alive. I felt like I knew what it meant to truly like be living in this world as it should be and not just be like some sort of robot. <laughs> like, yo, it's crazy, man. And in doing that, the energy you're going to receive. Like when I go to the gym now, it gets destroyed. Yeah, no gas is left in the tank. None at all. I know what it feels like to feel like, feel like a king out here, man like a king because i know in my true self i know and don't get me wrong i'm not better than anybody but i know what i've had to go through to get to that stage man it's not easy it's not easy it's like a game man life's like a game you know what i mean especially as a man life's like a pain game you know what i mean you, you either just live for pleasure or you live for purpose man a man who has no purpose lives for pleasure he numbs himself with it when you're a man following the most high's ways, man, he's going to shape and mould you and you're going to become a strong warrior. It's no joke, man. You're going to become a warrior. When you're living in monk mode and, and you're living really to find who you are in this world, you will be strong. You will have unparalleled faith. You will have perseverance. You will have character. You will have everything that is necessary to be the best person you can be. And you can see what I'm saying. All these traits... You know, who who great? Greatness can't come without these traits. You need these traits to be called great, to have greatness, to, re to receive what you want to receive and to, to, to be where you want to be in life, man. So, you know, go through it, man. Face your battles every single day. Get on monk mode, retain your seed and hold it down, man. All praises to the most high. Amen.